and welcome to Mike Nerichlo online sharing my love for people, wine, food, and all things made passionately. And of course, can't forget coming to you from the Wine Coop. Now, if you want more information on the Wine Coop and what the heck I'm talking about or sitting in here, please feel free to click on the Wine Adventures of Mike and Mike, explore that section of the website, and you'll figure it out. It's going to be our new bigger scale, bigger than the garage scale, hobby winemaking facility, pursuing our knowledge in the wine world. Super stoked for the potential of what we're doing here. Anyway, today's episode, I got some Riesling here for you. Riesling from Summerhill. Now, I've been extremely impressed with the Rieslings coming out of the northern Okanagan, northern BC wine country, near the Kelowna area, right where these guys are located. Kind of, in my opinion, seems to be the signature grape of that area. Tantalus is right there, Summerhill is right there, uh, Cedar Creek makes a nice Riesling. Everybody in that area tends to be doing really well with their Riesling. There's something about the terroir, the dirt in that area that works really nice with the Riesling climate, etc. This example, um, I'm quite thrilled with. I was sitting down at a tasting with uh, Ezra Sipes and Eric, their winemaker, uh, in the last couple weeks, and I said, this reason is really impressing me. I'd love to talk about it. So, while Eric, their winemaker, was studying wine, um, he spent a fair amount of time in the Moselle, uh, which is in Germany. Now, the Moselle makes a very signature style of Riesling. This is kind of his tribute to that area, except here from British Columbia. In the Moselle, they make a very mineral-driven Riesling. Uh, Semi-sweet, it's got a hint of residual sugar left in it, but usually nice acidity to balance it out. Um, it's an area of the world where, if you're making Riesling, you want to try and make it like them, because they've pretty much perfected it. One of my favorite places in the world to have Riesling from, especially with Chinese food or with Asian food, um, your curry dishes, things like that. Also works really well with your blue cheeses, kind of sour dishes. Um, because of the residual sugar left over, it cuts through anything spicy, anything tart. Um, it's just a really nice example of Riesling from the Moselle. Summerhill, I tasted this one, was blown away by it, epic value, super stoked to talk about it on the show today. So this is their 2010 Riesling. Now, Summerhill Winery, they're one of BC's biggest organic wineries. They've been seeking organic certification for quite a while. Um, but what they're working on now is seeking their biodynamic certification. Biodynamics is something I really want to touch on on the show down the road. It's going to take a lot longer episode than this one to actually tell you all the details of biodynamics. Biodynamics is basically organics taken to the next level. It's allowing, you're building a, that's how do you want to call it, an ecosystem within your farm, within your winery. Um, building an ecosystem that sustains itself, it's self-sustaining, it's very sustainable. Um, you'll allow certain plants, certain things to grow together in order to nurture your grapevines, nurture your production. Um, everything kind of works as one ecosystem works together, it's balanced. And the biodynamic vineyards typically aren't your picturesque uh, manicured vineyard, the lawn isn't cut beautiful between the vines. They're allowing certain plants to grow really well because they all work together in the contribution of creating a great little ecosystem. There's a lot more to it than that. Trust me, um, a lot of stuff that has to do with the moon, a lot of stuff that has to do with gravitational pull. Um, it's a whole can of worms for me to even start talking about, but it gets me really excited. It's a really neat way of allowing nature to really take care of a vineyard, really allowing nature to really make your wine. Um, in turn, uh, making the winemaker's job even simpler because he's growing fruit that's really, really well grown, really organic, um, no pesticides, none of that letting nature and the terroir really express itself. Sorry, Biodynamics gets me really excited. Um, Summerhill's got a really neat video on some of the stuff they do with Biodynamics on their blog. I'll include that below the video. Make sure you check it out. Anyway, $20 Riesling from Summerhill. This is their 2010. I think Eric's done a fantastic job on this. I've obviously tried this one in the past, but here's where I get out of it. On the nose, it's got beautiful fruit flavors. It's got beautiful kind of pear and peaches. Um, kind of white berry aromas, almost hints of like, oh, just pineapple, maybe maybe subtle hints of lychee, but not, not lychee like a vert, it's just kind of a spice little bit of grape to it. Really, really interesting nose. I love the way this wine smells. It smells like minerality, it smells like it's got lemons to it. You can smell the hints of sweetness, almost like canned pears or canned peaches, you get the little, the syrup inside, it reminds you of that. Really nice, well-rounded wine. 
Mm. Okay. Here's what blows me away about this wine. It's got residual sweetness. And I love the residual sweetness. I got a little bit of sweet tooth too. But if you have a wine that's just got residual sweetness and lacks acid, it becomes syrupy, it becomes cloying, it kind of takes over your palate. This one has got beautiful sugar and beautiful acid to balance it out. Um, Eric was telling me some of the numbers in his winemaking on this, and they're, they're, they're fantastic, it's really neat. I'm not gonna get into that, but how they balance each other out, the residual sugar and the acid. So this one, up front, you get really nice kind of sweet pear, pineapple, apple-y flavors. On the finish, you get this kind of tart, refreshing green apple lemon finish. It, it cleans your palate. Um, this, like I said, is a prime example wine to have with your Indian food, your Asian foods, spicy foods. It's a really nice wine. It's also got some really interesting minerality to it. For 20 bucks, this is a ridiculously great example of good BC Riesling. Mm. Seek it out. Make sure you get your hands on some. I love this wine. I love the direction Summer Hill is going. Um, I'm going to have to spend some time with them or up there to really show you guys a little bit more about biodynamics. That'll be down the road. That's all I really have to say about that. Thank you everybody so much for watching today. We had some great, great, that's my great plus, whatever great or awesome, just really good. Riesling from Summer Hill, organic winery. Thank you so much for watching today. Wine! Hopefully depretentiousize a little bit for you. Hopefully you understand a little bit more about the wine world from following me. We'll see all of you on the next episode.